Hey, praise the Lord, everybody. What's up? What's up? This is your brother in Christ, Dre Hill, and I'm here with my guest today, gospel recording artist. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, the actress and also a writer, uh, Miss Carmen Greer. How you doing, hey, sis? How you doing? <laughs> all right, doing well, doing well. Um, I want to, um, first of all, thank you for helping in all of the episodes, you know, um, episode from episode one that that opened up the door you know and uh, and the lord has just just moved further than what i ever thought you know i was just doing something because that's what the lord had put on my heart but i didn't know it's going to keep opening up doors and doors and doors so that's where he works my pleasure yeah thanks, <laughs> my pleasure. thanks for being a part of it okay so um so i just wanted to uh start off by asking you um so what are some of the things that you do? Um, maybe something that people don't know. Like um, I, I learned later on after Welcome to Faith Town that you, that you wrote, you know, and I was like, what? You know, and then, then I went to one of the plays and I was like, what? That was good. So, <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. What do I do? Do that people don't know that I do. Um, or, or did you I don't think there's. Um, I don't know that there's a lot that they. Uh, I have a lot of little hobbies. I mean, I like I enjoy pretty much the arts and stuff. So I like painting and okay, I like drawing things like that. So ways that you can express yourself creatively, mm -hmm. I like that. Um, I there's no data no recording of this at this point but i am looking to maybe write some music as well oh wow okay so, yeah. so i might i might have been prophesying when i said uh <laughs> well recording artists might mean i was singing and i don't know about that but <laughs> well, well there's, there's instrumental instrumental yes okay so so what instrument do you play then so i'm not i'm not doing the um instrumental more like the lyrics so i would be interested in writing songs in, in that respect Okay. All right. Yeah. That's that's how I started. I started with poetry, you know, and then mm -hmm. from there, um, I just it just grew into well, the music was already there, but I never did connect to, you know, until okay until later on down the line. Okay. okay. So so those are things that you that you uh you know really like doing. Yes. Yes. Those are things I really enjoy. All right. That's cool. That's cool. So now, um, now, I didn't grow up in a church I, I did you know we went to church um but um I actually uh, dedicated my life to the Lord um like in my probably 19 you know somewhere in that in that uh, time so uh before then I hadn't heard about the rapture I, I had actually read uh the first book that I ever read in the Bible was uh, book of revelations and it terrified me i was like oh no i cannot be around when all that is happening so um so that might have stuck with me um through you know through my uh, you know saved life and so um what is your thoughts on the rapture uh i'm no longer terrified I, okay, it's, it's right. something to look forward to right, right um i think probably i grew up unlike you i grew up my parents were saved before I got born my grandparents and great grandparents you know wow I hear stories about you know one of my my great grandmother being a prayer warrior and they went to visit she'd be up at five o'clock in the morning praying you could hear her all through the house so wow those are you know that's the history mm -hmm. so I grew up in church um and I got saved you know probably when I was about four or five probably got real serious about it when I was more like 14 15 wow okay but, I went to a Christian school, so around maybe the sixth grade, we sh they showed a movie on the rapture, mm. and I don't remember all of the stuff, I just remember they were singing this song about the sun has come and you've been left behind, mm. and so it terrified me at that point. <laughs> okay. I was like, oh, we can't let this happen, even though I, you know, I was a believer, but I was just like, we can't let this happen. Right, right, I understand and that. So, that did stick with me like later on I was like you know it's something that people need to know I know a lot of times people feel like it's not gonna you know like we always say it's going to happen right right but I know a lot of times people feel like oh it's been going on for years and years and years but yeah. the signs of the times are moving closer and closer to that happening so yes, they are. Yes, they are. 
All right. Well, yeah, I, I feel the same way. You know, just, just you know, not even trying to look at the news, but just seeing all the stuff that's going on. It's just like, wow, Lord, you are coming. You know, so. Right. Um, and and um, to me, that is that's the purpose of uh, the Rapture Chronicles, is to um, hopefully shake some up to the point where they wake up. And then those of us that are already awake, you know, to strengthen them, say, hey, I, I need to get closer. You know, I need to, I want to make sure, you know, and, and um, you know, I, I think with each episode, we try to put something in there that, that it might be uh, somebody's opinion or somebody's thought process. Um, just because they go to church don't mean that they are secured, you know, uh, or just because... Uh, to do good things or whatever the case is so so the rapture chronicles is you know something that you know i pray that will open people's eyes you know? yeah. 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 yeah so so you have uh you have been in episode one you did some camera work and directing episode two uh camera work and and directing episode three <laughs> in episode four and this and then this new one coming up right so um so not now uh, without saying too much um about this episode um you could you could say what you play you know which which we know you you know who you so give me your thoughts I'm excited to be in the rapture this time. <laughs> I think most of this time right, I've right, always right. been a, a person right. that got left behind or didn't right. know. Right. So it was nice to be one of the, um, to be okay. a part of those that were caught up. Okay. okay. And um, I was playing, a, um, I believe it was the minister of music in this episode. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so that was good to be able to play a believer. I mean, minister of music probably make me get stretched, but you know. <laughs> hey, what you trying to say? <laughs> no stretch for me. Oh, oh, okay. I see. For I me. see. I see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so, is there anything that you would like to uh, share in the end, or, or encourage somebody um, before we close out? I just want to encourage them that um, Jesus is real. And that he loves us and his goal is i mean we have the rapture chronicles to notify people because you know prophecy jesus always told us what was coming and he didn't tell us what was coming so that we would so that we would live in fear but more so that we would be informed and move toward and closer towards him mm-hmm. so i think i like what the rapture chronicles is doing because it can pique your interest but after your interest is peaked, sometimes you learn about something. And then from that point on, you're like, this is something I never knew I loved. So hopefully your faith will become that thing that you learn about Jesus, you meet him. And then you're like, this is something I never knew I loved. And from that point on, it'll just spark you into a relationship that will stretch and cause other people to want to join in and have a relationship with Christ himself. Amen. All right. Well, that was that was definitely a great insight, and that is the goal, you know, to cause people to want to to know Jesus themselves. A relationship, not not rituals, but right. a relationship, you know, and that's the difference. So, yeah. all right. Well, I thank you so much for your time and for uh, the talent that you've shared, you know, with with us and and the world. You know, um, oh, Lord has opened up. Uh, he continues to open up different platforms, you know, for us to uh, to show everything with. And and uh, like I mentioned in another um, interview, that it's been over a million people this this scene and so far that we know of. You know, so yes, that's exciting. So that's a blessing. Mm-hmm. All right, so I want to thank you again for your help and. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, this has been uh, my guest for today, Sister Carmen Greer. All right. So, all right. So until next time, peace.